Welcome to my latest stitch with me. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound all croaky. If that doesn't help. <clears throat> um, the reason why I haven't done any stitch with me lately is because Coco was in that cone. And all you could hear was her scratching. I did do one. And um, I'll just move myself about a bit. Hopefully that's alright. Um, and all you could hear was her scratching the whole time. And I thought, well, that's not going to really work. Hey, I just put a knot in the end. So I thought what I would do is I would just wait until she was out of the cone. And then we would, I would do one then. So she is out of the cone. I have taken her to the vet. And we have good news and bad news. At this stage, she doesn't, the our vet that we go to, she doesn't think she has cancer of her eye because the two and a half weeks that we had her on the ointment, it did seem to have alleviated the issue. And she was quite happy that her eye was starting to look a little bit better. It didn't seem to have have got rid of I can't mark off. It didn't seem to have got rid of the issue, but it it didn't it didn't get worse. So it's indicating to her that her issue is allergies. So what we are going to do at this stage is put her on a course of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a course of special food, which is this duck feathers that they <coughs> grind up and make into a cat biscuit. And that is duck protein that she needs to survive. She's already lost weight. She's she's not complaining on it, but she's not. Obviously, it doesn't need much to keep going because she's not eating much, but she seems happy enough. The only problem is with it. I can't handle it at all. I um, picked a few biscuits out of the bag and threw it on the floor like a treat, like we normally do. That's how we decided, because you're yeah, meant to start off slow. So we thought what we would do is just consider it as a treat for her, and she would kind of think of it as a treat. And that's how she thought of it in the beginning. <laughs> and I came, my hand came out in welts. So, yeah, I'm obviously allergic to it. But she's looking good. Her eye isn't looking any worse. So that's our first step. If it doesn't help, she has to see a... Um, a special dermatologist, a cat dermatologist, and we have a couple of choices. Is we might be able to get an appointment to see one in Dunedin. As somebody that comes from Auckland, they come to Dunedin so often, or we might have to fly her to Auckland to see them. So that's going to be a big 
expense so it's not once it will be a couple of times at least and what they do is in, they inject controls underneath the skin <coughs> and then they have to see how what she reacts to and then we have to figure out what she's allergic to so that um, may be what we have to do but we're hoping that this um, food just settles down her whole system and once we're done that we can introduce things whoops, to her and go from there At the moment, um, Dave is working at a grazing block. So he's helping out there because the manager of that block, his wife has cancer. So um, by helping out, it means that um, he can spend time with his wife, quality time. So, did I put that in the right place? I think I did. I find these, um, light patches very hard to see. Uh, my MS at the moment is playing up. I'm having a lot of a lot of relapses of it. Uh, symptoms that I've already had are flaring up a lot. I don't think that was right. I can't see it. It's not quite close enough. I might need um so he's working the uh, he has been working for the last couple of weeks. So I think today might be the last day because a lot of the stock has gone. I get this stitch out. Yeah, that was a problem stitch. <coughs> um, and last week, uh, they like use a ute. It's on the farm. Everybody uses it. It's just a run around to get from, because there's a couple of farms that they look after. <coughs> Excuse me. And they, they go from farm to farm. And then one afternoon they went to go use the ute and it was locked. Because normally everybody just leaves the key in it. So the next person can just use it and the key the key wasn't in it and it was just locked and it's well well who yet last used it? Where is the key? So they were asking everybody and Dave was very grateful that he wasn't he was off that day. And um then what happened was a few days later it went missing and it was found that somebody had come back. Oh dear. Come on then. Sorry, we just got photobombed. I will just continue. Well, you have prime opportunity to see Coco. So this is a stitch with me with Coco.
Really? I don't know whether I should cut this out or not. I don't think so. I'm sure you don't mind. Do you want that colour? Push, push and do, Bubby. So, um, <coughs> the, the truck got stolen and then it got taken to um, the Inchclutha which is um, near the river and it um, or on the island and it got burnt out so yeah so that was a bit sad well, we've got Missy here um, what else is new? David <coughs> has <coughs> David had had a few. I'm going to pause this here. This is why all my projects get very hairy. Ah, she just came. Um, what was I talking about before I got rudely interrupted? Um, so the car got burnt out, which is unusual for around here. Dave has was saying that he needs he needs to have a cooking badge now. He he has advanced from beginner's stage <coughs> at the moment. Sorry, I have a croaky voice. A mouthful of coffee. Well, hopefully that'll help. It's just in the mornings because we've been having some heavy frosts. So um, he's advanced from beginner's cooking level and he reckons he should have a cooking badge. He's made cookies now. <coughs> Under supervision. <coughs> Because it's a recipe that I think it was when the kids were at school that it was in one of those newsletters at home. The recipe was in a newsletter, and I tried it, and it was a really good recipe. But <clears throat> the cookies spread a lot, so. I always knew that you needed to make the cookies quite small <clears throat> or you got giant cookies. <clears throat> so I said to him that he needed to make just teaspoon balls or he would had he was trying to <laughs> make a tablespoon balls. That's what he wanted. And I said no, because they're very sweet. You only need teaspoon balls, because they'll be big enough. And he was trying to push me aside and make these big tablespoon balls, uh, because he was all excited about having these cookies. And um, he thought, oh, yay. And... He he thought he would have these big cookies. And I said, no, you're not having big cookies like that. He was ever so grateful when he tasted his cookies that he had small cookies. I don't think he'd be able to eat these giant cookies. And the, because they spread bigger than he thought they would. I was also thinking that Brendan doesn't need cookies. 
so because he's not doing much at all I don't eat cookies because um, I'm not hungry because I just eat my um, food their replacement food replacement that I'm on <clears throat> and um <clears throat> Trying to see where my stitches are on this today. Can't see for Christmas. It's harder talking and stitching than you think. So at the moment what I'm doing, <clears throat> I won't have as many things to show you this next update because I've been sticking on projects for a couple of days instead of instead of my normal one day and doing a thousand stitches I've been trying to um, do projects for for a couple of days because I think I already have a stitch there <clears throat> because I um some projects you just can't see the progress especially animal panorama I, I worked on that in the weekend because Jess and I decided that we would do well That's definitely needs to be fogged. Um, we would do a um. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, we would do our animal panorama in the weekend. Uh, animal panorama. We would do our. Oh, I think I should do that stitch. We would do our Adrian Chesterman pieces. Just did it for one way, one day, but I did it for the two days because I wanted, I wasn't getting much progress. And um, I did it for the two days, and honestly, you can't really see any progress at all. But I must admit, I think I'm going to do that for each weekend now that my um, um, arch is finished until I get um, black unicorn started. Talking about black unicorn, I have got all my thread drops ready to put black unicorn on thread drops so I need to do that because it's just because it's a kit it's just on the thread cards that it comes on and I actually don't like them I prefer my thread drops so I need to do that I need to also work on this coming week. I need to work on the last page of my um, Afghan and then I'm halfway. And so that's page 11. Dave um, had a funny story, so I'll share that. He 
was talking about he needed to burn some of the rubbish from when they did the tree trimming and I said oh, okay and you don't have to have any fire permits here over winter because it should be wet enough but it isn't until just the other day it hasn't been that wet it's been cold but we've had very little rain fall so he lit this rubbish and he was quite a wee way from the um the tree line and he said that it was a still day but even so it was just a wee gust of wind and the embers from the fire <laughs> went in the wind and there was a glow in the tree line that was so many meters from it and he was watching that tree line and with this glow and he's thinking oh what should I do <laughs> he was a bit worried about it and he kept watching it and he was thinking wow this this is a real dumbass moment isn't it I'm going to have to ring up the fire department and say look I've got an issue I I obviously was not far enough away from this fire line and I obviously should not have put my fire here and could you please come and bring your fire engine here <laughs> and spray this very high tree and put out my wee, wee fire before it's going to be a big fire and a big issue and it's right next to the train tracks. So, um, um, fort fortunately, it was late. It, it was getting towards dusk, and he could keep an eye on it. And he he went and had a look later on, and it was starting to get colder. And the glow went. So fortunately that was the case. Unfortunately. If there was an issue. Getting. To that area. Wouldn't have been easy. And. To get. A. Um, fire engine there. Probably wouldn't have been possible. Anyway. So it was a good thing. That it wasn't an issue and that with the dew coming in from evening that it wasn't an issue anyway but yes he very much felt like it was a dumbass moment and that he does not want a repeat of it and Jess goes to him did you do a fire watch and he goes yes and she goes, what did you have prepared for your fire watch? And he goes, my phone. <laughs> and she goes, yes, but did you have a fire extinguisher? No. But I've got fire extinguishers. And she goes, but are they still certified? No. <laughs> so the motto of the story is, that we have half a dozen fire extinguishers that we need to get certified. So in, in the future, he's going to be more prepared. And we need to actually get a fire extinguisher for the house. Because we've got several that need to be recertified. So we do have some in the house. So, and... We, we used to have them in the vehicles too. So we need to go back to doing that. We've got a bit blasé. <laughs> so had to laugh over that. Um, because he was saying that some, he'd heard of somebody that had a tractor on fire. 
and they took photos of it for the insurance company while well, it was on fire and the fire and the insurance company wasn't very impressed that he just documented it and he should have tried to at least put it out of fire put the fire out not just documented it but tractor fires are um very dangerous i would have thought that they would have just wanted you to ring the fire department and and stand back and and keep yourself safe but yeah because birds like to nest in your tractors it's one thing that as soon as um spring arrives that you're meant to every couple of days check for birds nests in our old house we i used to um have to check all the time for birds nests i hope you can't hear my heat pump in the background because there was a heavy frost here again this morning but to be honest um winter's nearly over here and thank goodness I don't do as well over winter my MS plays up and I have a lot of issues with walking and um, this time uh, this year I've had a lot of issues with pain in my face and um, pain in my legs this year so that has meant that um, it's been um, painful walking I haven't tripped over as much this year admittedly Brendan goes to see his new just in the next week. We need to, um, I think I need to go with Dave and we need to see our accountant as well. So that'll be a fun trip. <laughs> I um, was talking to my brother yesterday, which was lovely. My dad's dying. So, his days are well and truly numbered. He's got um, bladder cancer. So, I'm, I'm surprised he's actually still alive, to be honest because he um he's had um bowel cancer so and he survived that and now to have bladder cancer they they're not going to take his bladder out and he's quite upset about it and wants it out but he's 77. I, yeah. There's only so much money in there. We're pri we've got a private, a public health here. It's not private. Well, you can pay for private. Mm. So he wants us at 77, how many years does he have left anyway?
His doctor's pushing for the hospital to do something, but the hospital aren't keen. I guess there's only so much money. It's a hard one. percentage of mine at 9.22 percent i've only done look i've done 7364 stitches on this piece but i think i've only done 2000 stitches this year or 3000 stitches this year on this piece i can't look because you're videoing at the moment but mm. i haven't done enough on it this year so far i'm trying to get most of my pieces to 5000 stitches so yeah <clears throat> well, i printed some labels planting labels for david's um, t greenhouse yesterday for when he put some seeds in. I think he's going to put some tomato seeds in shortly. We're still having frosts, but I'm not sure it's going to be that long now that we're in August. It's August the 4th here today. 4th be with you. No, it's not. It's 5th. Telling lies. 4th be with you was yesterday. Dyeing this grey made it actually harder to stitch. So if you can believe that. Are you sitting down there waiting for you to jump up again, go go? So I think I'm at my max projects at the moment. Oh, I only have those new couple new starts. And the alchemist as well. I've got that. If I feel like I need a new start next year. So I'll just have my black unicorn and the, my new start in the new year that Jess and I had planned. And I think the alchemist at some stage, <coughs> that's retired. And I think that's all I intend to start. For a while. I need to get some things finished. It's feeling like springs in the air. You can hear all the birds outside. It's been quite a mild winter. We haven't had much rain and we've had no snow. 
this winter but we might get it in the next few weeks maybe don't know it's been weird very weird <clears throat> Where am I going to go now? So, what did I do? I heard something funny there too, I think. Oh no, I didn't. Um, so, Wednesday I go and have my injection in my shoulder. and But my shoulder's actually not feeling too bad now. I think it's just about back to normal. Uh, it's just my elbow now. It's, um, I definitely got tennis elbow. And, um, because I had a locum when I went to the doctor on, last week, I went on the first. Because my normal doctor, <clears throat> Here we have a medical clinic attached to a geriatric hospital. And the hospital side needed a full-time doctor in that side. So the doc my doctor went through to that side for for the week. So, um, he, he was there and I, I needed my injection for my elbow and my shoulder and I had a locum instead, so the locum couldn't do it. And I can't complain about that because no other doctor in the surgery can do it either. So I just have to wait. So I made an appointment to my normal doctor and he is going to do it on Wednesday. So I'm pleased over that because it is quite sore now. I sleep with my arm straight out. And um, I wake up in the morning and it's really sore. My brother was saying that um, he's just had COVID. So he's been struggling with that. He's really tired and... He's not bouncing back for work quite as well because he's 55. And I think it's the first time he's had COVID. So no, he did not enjoy having COVID at all. My sister-in-law has just had COVID as well, actually. Must be going around again here. Because she has had it twice in the last few months. Hmm. So I'm pleased I got vaccinated again for it. Hopefully I'm in shot spot. 
sorry if I'm not. You think you are? Where's my needle? Oh, I think I am. So here, she's had um, COVID a couple of times, but she works um, looking after elderly people in a rest home. So they are at risk. So it's probably a higher chance. So um, Dave's mum is um, is in her in the rest home that she works. So that works really well. So we get to hear um, all the time how well she's doing. So I need to um, I need to order off AliExpress. I need to order a cooking badge for Dave. <laughs> Is a luck. Yes, Dave's cooking badge. I also need to get Dave's taxi hat for him, since he is the only driver here at the moment. Since I can't drive until April next year. So that'll be quite funny. I'm not sure Brendan will ever be able to drive again. I'm not sure he'll ever be able to get a job either. He um, was putting together my stand for my microphone and some of the bits for it he put somewhere. And it took us about a day for us to find where he put them. He just put them down. It was like, well, where did you put them? And he goes, I don't know. And it's like, but you just hid them. And he goes, I know. But you put them somewhere. And he goes, I know. And I go, okay. Yeah. Yes. It must be so annoying for him. Like, it's still fluff from when I unpick that. Okay, three, seven, six, six. It's a lovely, beautiful day out there. Blue sky. I haven't pulled the blinds open because if I do, somebody will sit at the window wanting outside. And I'll be up, down, up, down. So with having the blinds down, she um, doesn't seem to annoy me as much. It's working well. Right. Oh, this is easier to see.
so yeah I have my injection for my elbow on the Wednesday and then Thursday I have my infusion and then Friday I'll do my update so there just won't be as much stitching There's going to be weeks like that. Don't know why that stitch is there, because it shouldn't be. Oh, yes, it should be. Tell a lie. Get the right spot, Tanya. Okay, it's below the line. So yeah, what else is new? sure how long this has been 35 minutes it's probably just about long enough so it's not that exciting I haven't done anything exciting Be fair, every day is the same here. <clears throat> Some of the time I haven't been doing my stitch with me is because I have been um, 3D printing. And there's nothing worse in um, having a, a stitch with me and having a lot of background noise. Especially um, annoying background noise like the 3D printer is a repetitive noise. What do I do? I do that right? Uh, don't know. We'll try, try again. Yeah, the um the three D printer is really repetitive. It's a bit like having a washing machine or a fan going. So I try not to do that. You can't always stop that. It's got to be comfortable. So I am pleased that um, Coco, the prognosis for Coco is a lot better.
Don't know about the prognosis for Brendan though. He um, has to see the neurologist and he needs to talk to him about if it's possible that he might have MS as well due to the fact that he's got um, other symptoms that uh, not just epilepsy but other symptoms of uh, that are more MS symptoms and <clears throat> is it possible that he actually has MS as well because when he first got diagnosed MS wasn't um, in the picture and the thing is that they haven't got control of his seizures it's been years and they still haven't got control of it so you would think by now that they would have but So that's disappointing. Jess is very busy with work. Can't believe how many hours she, she does work. Can't believe how much stitching she's in. I think she just about matched me in stitches. And she works full time for the month in July. It was so close. I was like, wow, I must have been really slacking. <clears throat> Sorry, it's your head. I need to get my hair cut. Desperately need to get my hair cut. But it's very hard when Dave is um, working to make the appointment. I'm just holding off until he is um, he's finished and then I'll make an appointment when it suits. I feel like I can't really make an appointment when he there's so many other appointments. Well, I think I'll leave this at that, that I will leave my stitching here. I haven't stitched much. So sorry for that. Didn't help with Coco sitting on my lap I will edit this I don't think there is actually that much to edit I'm sorry if I didn't welcome everybody to my stitch with me I am absolutely shocking for that <clears throat> so um, thank you very much for joining me have a wonderful week and I will see you in a few more days. And um, I just need to check and see what colour that is. I think I've done those stitches. Eh, maybe I haven't. <laughs> I'll see you in a few more days and
I will um, catch up with you then. Thank you. Bye.